Hey guys, it's Hero. This quick video is a follow-up to Flesson's Medicine Perks video. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. He gives his rationale for choosing a perk in various situations. And frankly, the medicine tree is one of the most powerful skill trees in the game. I'll add a link in the description. Some of the wording on the perks is confusing or ambiguous. I used DN Spy and looked up the perks and how they're used to give you some clarification. Also, I found a bug, which results in a nice exploit. I saved it for last. Preventive Medicine is plus 30% of the lost HP, not the total HP. It does clearly say that in the perk, but I've heard people mention it's from the total HP, and I wanted to clarify that it's not. Walk it off. The perk is a flat plus 10 HP after an offensive battle. These two perks do stack, so preventive medicine calculates the amount of HP it will restore, then walk it off adds 10 to that. Best medicine and good lodging. The secondary perks are guaranteed each day if there is someone over 40 in the same settlement as you. The only thing that's random is which person, if there's more than one. If there's only one, you gain one relation each day with that person. Also, good lodging only works if the hero in the settlement is over 40 and not a party leader. Also note that relation gains between heroes is always the relation between the clans, not the individuals. Siege Medic. The wording is confusing and doesn't explain the perk clearly. The primary bonus applies to getting hit by siege engine ammo. The secondary bonus applies to troops manning a siege engine that gets destroyed. These two can't technically stack, since the troop would have to die for the primary bonus to be applied. But the same shot that just killed that troop could also destroy the siege engine, and the other perk would apply to the rest of the troops manning that destroyed weapon. Minister of Health. Plus 1 HP to troops for every skill point above 250. This does not include heroes. This is only for regular troops. Still good, just doesn't apply to you or your companions. And the last one, and the exploit. Health advice. The primary bonus for the clan leader is like giving the cheat death perk to every hero in your clan, including yourself, but only the clan members at the time you select the perk and hit done. I didn't realize how powerful this was until I looked it up. This is huge. It also stacks with cheat death, so you can cheat death twice if you have both perks. Or, if you respec your medicine tree and grab those two perks again, it adds two more chances for you to cheat death and one more for each clan member. If you're running a long campaign and you want to survive illness a lot longer, repeat this. Or if you have the money, repeat this until you're bored and have a nice stack of chances of not dying of old age. Also, as you get new companions and or family members, respec a few times so they get the benefit as well. That's it. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Here's a link to Flesson's video. Check that out. Thanks for watching. Peace out.